Hello and welcome back to Beginner Adult Hockey. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to play in your first tournament. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe below and then hit the little bell because that will help you get notifications every time we post a video and it helps us continue to make more videos as well. So playing in your first tournament, this can be a kind of overwhelming process to start with because you never know the skill level of other people. Are you ready for a tournament? You know what? You just have to kind of jump in and see and uh, hopefully it all works out. Number one, if you are looking for a tournament, the best way to go to a tournament is to go with your league team. So if you are playing on a team, um, whether it's a, a mixed league where it's a draft experience or you found somebody that allowed you on your team, on their team, even though you're pretty new, you should be, um, you should ask them, say, hey, are there any tournaments coming up? Are you guys playing in a tournament? Um, and just let them know that you are really, really interested in playing in a tournament and hopefully you will get invited to anything that's coming up. Let them know that you're willing to because especially if it's something for travel, if you're willing to spend the money to travel, you are going to get on the list of people they want to invite in the future. But kind of along those same lines, the second tip is just to speak up. If you hear people talking about an upcoming tournament, there's no harm in going up to them being like, hey, I'd be, I'd be open to playing. I am willing to play this is my position. These are the positions I'm willing to play. This is my skill level. Sometimes all they need is a warm body on the ice. That's how I started playing tournaments was I was terrible. I couldn't even skate, but they only had like eight players and it just wasn't enough. And they just needed somebody to fill that space as a warm body. So definitely consider doing that because um, ask your team and just kind of listen around your, your league to see if anybody needs somebody for a tournament. Number three is going to be to create your own team. There's no better way to have control over going to a tournament than signing up yourself. So what this means is that you would submit all of the things, the registrations that the tournament needs for you to sign up as a team. You would probably pay the deposit and then you start to find your own players. And so you can ask people obviously on your own league team or you can ask people around your, your league, but this gives you the complete control over not feeling bad that you're not good enough because you're the one who's in charge of everything. This does come with a little bit of work. You're going to have to organize everybody. If it's a USA hockey tournament, you're going to have to collect all their USA hockey numbers, collect all the money. It's, it's a lot of work, but because of that, not many people like doing it. So it actually helps you if you do really want to start playing in a tournament. This is really the best way to do it. And then number four, and this is less common, I think people don't think about this, but you can just be a free agent. Reach out to a tournament. If you wanna play in a tournament, say, hey, I don't have a team, I'm just a single person, but I'd love to play. And usually they'll either have a free agent team, which is just a bunch of other people like you who just wanna play, but they don't have a team. Or um, they'll say, you know, we had a couple teams that just don't have enough people. And so they've asked us if there's anybody that reaches out to add them to that team. So um, be very honest in terms of your skill level and positions, things like that. Don't be desperate, but say, this is a skill level I can play at and they may add you to a team. It really cannot hurt to reach out and to just ask, right? Because there's a lot of teams. I'm. I'm playing in a tournament in a couple weeks where there was like 15 people and I was like, wow, I can bow out. And they're like, just hang on, let's see. And now they have like nine people because that many people dropped out at the last minute. So it just, it happens all the time where people just need one more player. So that's the fourth option. There are a couple other ways that you can get into your first tournament, but those are my top four suggestions on if you want to play a tournament, you just need to let people know that you want to play a tournament or you need to organize it yourself. So um, good luck. Let me know if this helps and let me know when you felt you were ready to play in a tournament. Cause I will tell you the first one I played in, I was just there because I had a bunch of friends, but I was not good enough to play with them. And they were all really cool about it, but you know what? Nothing. It, it's, it's okay to get in there and just start doing it. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Again, don't forget to subscribe below and let me know when you decide to sign up for your first tournament. I'm really curious when people do it or um, when you kind of get that courage.